Well, hi, everybody. It's Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, and um, the Mercury retrograde has ended, and that's a wonderful thing. Uh, we've still got about two weeks of shadow point where we're going to be navigating, you know, more stuff from the past coming up, um, people from past showing up. Hi, Carla. How are you? Nice to see you. Um, this has been, I believe, the worst, <laughs> the worst Mercury retrograde in recent history. I would say probably for the last two years. It has been quite a challenge for so many people with um, kind of like death and destruction just all over the place. And uh, you're good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Um, I'm, gl I'm really glad to hear because I, from a lot of the people that I've been talking with, um, it has been a very challenging time. And here we are, we're in the holiday season, in the thick of it, and at the end of this dog year, and you could call it a dog eat dog year, uh, but it has been a challenge. Now, um, be careful the rest of the year with spending because you may feel your heart opening and just this longing to give to everyone. Uh, but keep yourself in a budget and uh, remember that January is coming. And, you know, for a lot of people, uh, that could be a time where, you know, finances might be a little bit more difficult. So what I want to talk about is that exactly, finances, money. And it's been coming up for so many people, I have had, I think, about 60 sessions in the last three weeks with different clients, and the predominant theory, I will say, is trauma and problems with money. So why is this? Why is it that when we've had trauma and we've had broken hearts, why is it that we have such a hard time with wealth? So there's a connection. Do you see it? Because it's really clear to me that when we've had our heart broken, we shut our heart down. When we've been broken up with, we shut our heart down. We don't feel good about ourselves. We don't feel loved. We may feel rejected and empty. We might feel alone and we may feel the opposite of being loved. We may feel totally unloved and abandoned. So we have to be in a state of love to be able to manifest. And we also can't come from an empty place, as in, I have no money. And one of the things that has come up repeatedly in sessions with clients recently is, I can't pay my bills. I can't support myself on what I earn. So whatever we say and think here, whether we say it out loud or whether we just say it in our mind, the universe hears, God hears, and the goal of the universe and God is to give us what we ask for. And you may not be thinking that you're asking for more lack, but that's the way it works. What you focus on is what you get. What you say is what you get. I don't have money. And the universe goes, oh, she says she doesn't have money. There she goes. There's more instances with no money because we've got to prove her right. We've got to prove him right. So instead, money comes to me easily and effortlessly. People love to pay me money. I'm abundant. The universe is abundant. It's an abundant, loving universe. And I am blessed with abundance and wealth. People love to pay me money. Money loves to stay with me. And I love me. And I am wealthy, successful, abundant, and balanced. So it's important to focus on what it is that you want with love. Loving yourself rather than beating yourself up. So does anybody have a question? Any questions? So far, no. Hi, Alicia. Nice to see you. So great to see you. Okay, so what else can you say? So I, I had a process that I did. This was a couple of years ago. I was paying off my, my Honda, 
and I had been paying and there were a few months when I didn't have enough money. And so somebody had said to me, you know, you can call uh, you can call Honda and negotiate and they'll put that payment to the end. So there were a few months I was coaching. I wasn't doing anything else. And maybe uh, January was a slow month or November was a slow month. And so I'd, I'd say to Honda, Would you, is it okay? You could do it once a year. They put it at the end. Well, after five years, I had a few payments that were at the end. And even though I paid extra money into this car loan, when it came time to complete the loan, the, the end of the five-year term, guess what? I had a $1,000 payment. And what did I do with that money? I misappropriated the money. So I took money that was earmarked for my Honda to pay it off, and I bought a ticket. Now, this was not an ill meaning. I wasn't being mean. I was actually being generous. I wanted to spend Christmas with my mother. And so I flew to Canada to have Christmas with my mom. But when I came back after Christmas, there I was faced with, you know, I had less than a week and I had to make this thousand dollar payment. And it was January. You know, everybody spent their money. And so I sat on my couch and I said to, to myself, this is just coming to me, channeled to me. The universe is abundant therefore i am abundant the universe is expanded therefore i am expanded the universe is a loving supportive place therefore i am being loved and supported the universe is abundant therefore i'm abundant there's no lack in the universe therefore there's no lack in me the universe is big therefore i'm big not small and so when you focus on your power and you state that you know that you are a creator, I am a creator, I am a powerful creator, money comes to me easily and effortlessly. So then I just said, how can I easily and effortlessly have $1,000 by Friday? Now, you may think that some things take a lot of time, but you know, Jesus manifested what fish and, and loaves just like that and we can too maybe not fishes and loaves but we can manifest too so so what i did was i sat there and i said how can i easily and effortlessly have a thousand dollars by friday so i went about my business did a couple of things and then i heard go check your email i went to my email and sure enough this is within two hours of me doing this manifestation exercise doing that expansion thing feeling bigger as opposed to small feeling abundant instead of poor and within two hours I had six hundred dollars I had two people asking for clearings and it totaled to six hundred dollars and then within the next two days I got the rest of the money I had the thousand dollars with no problem so this is true we can do it the the point is we have to be present and so how do we be present? How can we be present? So the first thing we need to do is experience that feeling of being grounded. Instead of being out there floating around in the ethers, envision light coming down through the top of your head, coming down through the top of your head, coming down through your third eye, through your throat, down through the high heart, through the heart, breathing in, Allowing that energy to go down through your abdomen, down through the tops of your thighs, through your knees, through your calves, through your feet, down, down, down into the center of the earth. Exhaling. Now, inhale that energy back up through your feet from the center of the earth. It's all cleansed up through your feet through your calves, through your knees, through your thighs, through your abdomen, and hold it in your heart. Breathe. So now we're grounded, but breathing will keep you in the present. It's really important to breathe, breathe deeply. Most people are not breathing to the capacity that, that we need to. So it's, it's something that I discovered when, um, 
I, my self-esteem was, was in the toilet. Uh, I recognized that people with low self-esteem are barely breathing. Most of us are, are holding our breath. So you set your phone to go off at the top of the hour so it reminds you to breathe. So take a deep breath. Expand your, your heart. Open up your, your heart space. It, wide open. Stretch out your arms. Lean back. Do it again. Arms out. Stretch. Stretch backwards. So you're expanding your lung space, expanding your heart space. And now why are people having so much difficulty? I, I told you I would get to this. Why are we having so much difficulty when we've had trauma or had our heart broken or we've been rejected or dumped or any number of things, if we've been cheated on, why do we have trouble with money? It's because the heart is, it's this hugely radiant beam. Whatever's going on in the heart is sending that energy out into the world. And so if you feel small, if you feel rejected and unloved, so that's that is what you're sending out into the universe, into the world. And so we can't receive when we don't feel worthy. We can't receive when we don't feel enough. We can't receive when we don't love ourselves and we give to everyone else but us. Energy moves in a circle. We give it out. We have to be able to receive it back. So loving ourselves first is is paramount we have to love and accept ourselves the way we are now what does that mean so self-love means to lovingly accept you for who you are what you are and where you are at the weight that you're you are whether you have hair or don't whether you're um, starting to um, age lose your memory, whatever, to love yourself the way you are. And the more that we love ourselves, the better we feel because we are filling ourselves with something wonderful, yummy, warm. Um, it's like eating, you know, it's like eating scones with the clotted cream and strawberry jam. Yum. It's, it's you know, chocolate has the same feeling when we eat it as as feeling loved chocolate gives us the same experience as receiving love sweets if you ever taste something really sweet you, you know it hits all these these centers in the brain and ignites centers in the brain that love does too love lights us up so the the better we feel about ourselves the more able we are to project love out into the universe which then draws in the wealth and abundance we've got to get rid of these blocks in our heart here and here and so if you if you say nasty things to yourself if you criticize yourself well how do you know because i understand only five percent of the thoughts we think are we aware of in other words 95% of the thoughts that we think here, we're totally oblivious of. We have no idea what is going on in this crazy place. It, we don't know. So this is why I'm a huge advocate of mantras. Mantras give the brain a rudder. It's like, you know, if you've ever gone to a bowling alley, and I am a terrible bowler. So sometimes when I'm bowling with my family, I'll say, you know, let's get the bumper pads out because I don't want to throw a gutter ball. Well, mantras are like, like bumper pads for your brain. They keep your brain on track. So mantras, I love me, I am wealthy, I am abundant. Those mantras repeated slowly in the background of your mind floated I love me. Breathe. What does it feel like? Just notice. I love me. I love me. Breathe. I bet you can breathe more deeply when you're saying to yourself, I love me. I am beautiful. 
I am abundant. I am prosperous. So back to the money thing. We have to be present, grounded in our body, in a state of love. And the easiest way is to love you, love yourself, feel good about you, no matter where you are, what you're doing, whether you haven't achieved what you think you should have achieved by this point. Love yourself the way you are right now, not when you're perfect, because guess what? That won't happen right now right now love yourself the way you are now so loving acceptance means no matter what maybe you weighed 10 or 20 pounds or 30 pounds more than you wish that you did maybe you don't make the money that you wish you did maybe um you know your kids aren't talking to you maybe um your mother treats you bad but whatever it is we still have to love ourselves no matter what and the happier that we can be with what is is what's going on in our life and the more gratitude that we can have for what we have so this is this is key because i hear people complain i don't have this you know i need a new car i don't have the money for the car i i don't have enough money to pay my bills what are those think for a second just breathe are those happy thoughts no, they're not. They're complaining. So the universe does not take kindly to complaints. The universe also doesn't like gossip. So talking about other people is not a good thing either. So we want to love our neighbors as ourselves, but love ourselves first. We want to be grateful for what we have. I love my car. Do I need a new car? Maybe I do, but I love the car I have. Uh oh, somebody's calling me. Okay, so maybe I need to wrap things up here. Um, I hope this helps. So be present, love yourself, be in a state of love, be grateful, and be, be clear. Focus on one thing at a time. What is that one thing that you want? How can I easily and effortlessly have more than enough to pay my rent? How can I easily and effortlessly have more than enough to pay my bills on time? How can I easily and effortlessly have the perfect job for me that pays me what I deserve in a place I love? I hope this helps. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor. I am the founder of Love Yourself Fearlessly, Manifest a Magical Life and also the author of Orgasm for Life and Happy Anywhere, the guide for overcoming anxiety, depression, and unhappiness without a pill. My website is jenniferelizabethmasters.com, and I have plenty of free resources on my website, including a fabulous free download. It is Manifestation for Beginners. I love you. Thanks for watching.